non-real breathing masks and high concentration oxygen masks with a reservoir bag are used to deliver high concentrations of oxygen. A one-way valve allows oxygen to be delivered to the reservoir bag during expiration and minimizes air entrainment during inspiration to achieve a high concentration of oxygen. The valve also prevents exhaled gases from entering the reservoir bag. The reservoir bag helps to increase the inspired oxygen concentration by re reducing oxygen loss during inspiration. Now, I wanted to call your attention to the location of these two valves. These two valves are right here. Uh, you could see this one right over here is a valve. It is a unidirectional valve designed to deliver oxygen on inspiration, that is in the reservoir bag. On expiration, the patient's exhaled volume will come out from this valve right here, but it will close on inspiration, therefore preventing the entry of ambient air. So the mechanism upon which this device works is that the reservoir fills with 100% oxygen. The patient inhales from the reservoir. The one-way valves in the mass prevents air from entering, and the patient exhales, uh, causing the one-way valves to open. The non-rebreathing face mass is indicated when an FiO2 greater than 40% is desired. And for acute desaturation, it may deliver an FiO2 up to around 90% at flow settings greater than 10 liters per minute. Its major drawback is that the mask must be tightly sealed on the face, which is uncomfortable and drying. There is also a risk of carbon dioxide retention if the mass reservoir bag is allowed to collapse on inspiration. That is also the reason why, for safety reasons, we usually just put one valve right on one side and not on both sides. There are several practical considerations that we need to remember. Humidification is difficult with this device because of the high flow required and the possibility of the humidifier popping off. It's also important that you need to uh, inflate the device prior to placing on the patient's face. Make sure that the flow rate from the wall to the mass is adequate to maintain a fully inflated reservoir bag during the whole respiratory cycle, meaning both during inspiration as well as expiration. Non-rebreathing Face masks are not designed to allow added humidification, and flow rates must be sufficient to keep the bag at least one-third to one-half inflated at all times. Make sure that there is no kinking and twisting of the reservoir, which would compromise the delivery of oxygen. Make sure that the valves are working and intact. There is adequate flow rate such that the reservoir bag empties by no more than a third during inspiration, as I said. And of course, the bag must not totally deflate during the inspiration, as it will lead to carbon dioxide retention.